Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today we will sketch and render some objects, combination of two materials, wood and some metal details. We will try to create some bathroom objects. Maybe it will be yeah, it will be the soap container, soap bottle, the base that I'm drawing now will be kind of wooden bamboo uh, shape. So as you can see I'm using two points perspective to create the base and ellipses to create this cylinder on top and one more detail on top that actually the part that you press I'm using the neutral blue pencil not black not Brown. The blue one, actually you can use any color, I like to use the blue one, this is my preference. Okay, so we have a general shape, now let's start to make it more clear lines. Here I'm using the Copic marker, the thin part of the, of the marker. To adjust those lines, I'm using the color, sorry, the cool, cool tone of uh, the Copic marker. Something about uh, number four, gray tone, just to put the initial shapes and shading like this. To give some, some present, presented presentation of the metal. Yeah, and now let's start with the, with the wood by using another market. Actually, it's Touch Me brand. Yeah, sounds sexy. Touch Me brand. Yeah, so the this brand, they have uh, uh, the cars of this brand more uh, more juicy, I would say. Uh, the Copic, they are more dry, but instead they are more professional ones. But I like to mix and match different brands and see uh, what kind of results I will get. So I'm always experimenting with my materials, with my tools. Uh, it's up to you what kind of tools to use. So here I'm working on, on the shading of uh, my future wooden part of the bottle. Something like this. Uh, by the way, I apologize for uh, about uh, the focus on my camera, I just recognize it. it is about a little bit out of the focus. Okay, now let's continue with metal part, make it kind of chrome, stainless steel, uh, finishing of the metal. So when we are doing the, the chrome uh, finish it's always very uh, sharp and contrast combination between light shadow and the reflections so this is what I'm doing now I'm creating this combination of 
different contrasts. Like this. Okay. To create more expressive and some movement. I always like to to create those lines a little bit longer than the object. It gives to my sketch kind of uh, expression and the movement of the particular parts. With darker marker, I can create the texture, the texture of the wood like this and at the same time to do the the contour contour and the shadows underneath of the object. I want that my object will pop up from the paper from the white white page. Okay by the way uh, for those renders, uh, this moment I'm using the Copic uh, paper, A3 paper. Uh, it's quite good for blending, mixing the markers. But actually, I don't care about what kind of material, what kind of paper to use. It's all about your passion. If you like to do the sketch, if you like to sketch, to draw, you can do this on any material, any paper, with any tool in your hand. So, this is what we have today. Enjoy! One more touch, make it even more contrast. Reach here a little bit of reflection on the floor, always uh, make sketch more sexy and more juicy like this. So, I hope you enjoyed my daily sketch today. See you around. Bye bye.